If you saw the movie, The Matrix, this is where the movie was based from. This information. It is the science that you and I and our children will use to solve the problems that we're leaving in the world today. Is something that does not happen in your mind. For 70 years, scientists have been telling us that we are little particles of quantum energy. And now we believe them. But now scientists say those little quantum particles can do miraculous things, amazing things. But the scientists say those miracles have nothing to do with your life. Quantum particles can exist in two places or many places at the same time and they are always connected. They are always connected with one another. Quantum particles can communicate with themselves in the past and in the future. This is very interesting. Scientists can take a quantum particle and they know everything there is to know about this particle. They know its rotation, its plus, its minus, its charge in the present. Now, they can take it into the future, all right, now. They can change the particle now and it changes what it had to be in the past to get to now. They can change the particle in the present and it changes the particle in the past even though the past already happened. Very interesting. So the question is, we're made of those particles. So can we do what these particles can do? We're made of quantum particles. Are they showing us our limits or are they showing us our possibility, our potential? We're made of those particles. We are held together through a focus, a force. What is the force that holds our quantum particles together as our bodies? 1944, the father of quantum theory, his name was Max Planck, made this statement. He said, the stuff of our world does not exist the way we think it exists. Max Planck said, as a man, who has devoted his whole life to the most clear-headed science, to the study of matter. I can tell you as a result of my research about the atoms this much. There is no matter as such. What he's saying is the stuff that we're made of does not exist the way we believe it exists. He goes on to say that what we think is matter originates and exists only by virtue of a force. He said there's a force out there that holds everything together in our bodies and in our world. He said we must assume behind this force the existence of a conscious mind, an intelligent mind. He said this mind is the matrix of all matter. If you saw the movie, The Matrix, this is where the movie was based from this information. The father of quantum theory, Max Planck, said that there is an energy, a field of energy that holds everything together, that this is not solid and we are not solid. If you want to change an atom, you have to change the energy that the atom lives in. If you want to change the stuff, the physical stuff of our world, you must change the energy that that stuff exists within. Einstein said this very well. Einstein actually said the field that connects everything together is what he called the governing agency of the particle. Einstein said the field is what determines how the atom behaves. It's in the field. So the field that we're talking about, the field is made of electrical energy, it's made of magnetic energy, two energies. The field that holds everything together. This is 
out of a, a traditional text, a traditional physics text, look at what this says. This says if you change the electric field, that you will change the way the atom behaves, and there's actually a name for this, it is called the Stark effect. So if you change the electrical field, the Stark effect, you change the atom, or if you change the magnetic field, it's called the Zeeman effect, you change the atom. So all this is saying is that science knows today if you change the electrical field or you change the magnetic field, you change the atom. Our world is made of electrical and magnetic energy, the atom. And the science says if you change the electrical field or you change the magnetic field, you change that atom. There is one organ in your body that produces the strongest electrical field and the strongest magnetic field. The human heart produces the strongest electrical and magnetic fields in the body. Some people said the brain. The brain does produce these fields, but look, the heart's electrical field is 100 times stronger than the brain. 100 times stronger than the brain. The heart's magnetic field is up to 5,000 times stronger than the brain's magnetic field. Belief is the code that takes that field of energy, possibilities, and translates that field into the reality of this world. Belief is the code that translates possibilities into the reality of this world. Scientists are telling us now that in this field, all possibilities already exist in the quantum energy, in the soup of quantum possibility. All possibilities already exist. In the quantum possibilities, you are already healed. Peace has already happened. Joy is already everywhere. All of the greatest suffering, all of the greatest peace already exists in the quantum possibilities. And here's what they say happens with you and me. That with our mind, we reach in to those possibilities. We imagine our healing. We imagine the peace. We imagine our perfect relationship. We imagine the abundance in our lives with our mind. And that's how we lock that possibility into place. And with our heart, we give that possibility life. We breathe life into the image of our mind through the feeling in our heart and make it real in our world. Belief is the marriage. It is a union of thought and emotion. Thought and emotion. Quantum possibilities, scientists tell us, exist as waves of energy. The waves are contracting and expanding. They're coming and they're going. These are the possibilities of your life. Your perfect relationship is coming and it's going. Your abundance, your perfect job, it's coming and it's going. Because the waves are always in motion. What would happen if the wave was not coming and was not going if it was in one place, what would we call that wave? If it's not coming and it's not going. The possibilities, the quantum possibilities of your life are these waves that are coming and going. The standing wave is the reality.